Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm putting a new engine together. I thought I'd uh, show you fellas how I adjust the valves. And, uh, and on the cam, on the opposite, like this is exhaust and this is exhaust. Well, when you've got one up, the other one is, is opposite, straight down. So uh, you can adjust this one while this one is up. Then you can rotate the engine till number eight is up. And then you can adjust number one exhaust. You adjust the opposites on each end. In other words, you just adjust this one, then roll it around and you adjust this one. Then you same on the intake, you do the opposite. You can just number uh, the one intake here and, and uh, while number eight is up and so on through. So uh, I'll get the camera set up and I'll show you how, how I adjust. And uh, this motor has a, what they call a three, three wrench adjust uh, lifters. It takes three wrenches to adjust them and they're a little aggravating. And so uh, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to do, uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to do the, the number two and number three exhaust valve adjustments. And, uh, and, and what I was telling you a minute ago, uh, when, when, when this valve is all the way up, like right there, then this one is ready to adjust. Then when this one's all the way down, this one's all the way up, this one's ready to adjust. Let me move my tools here. And this is the same way all the way through, just like, just like if I wanted to adjust number one intake valve, I would get number four intake valve to the top. And you can see, there, now it's ready. Then when I want to adjust number four intake, I get number one up. Just roll it around to, till it comes up. And now number four is ready to adjust. And, uh, I don't have any valve springs on yet because uh, with these three wrench style lifters, I have to cut, uh, I cut 30 thousandths off of the stem here so you could get, have adjustment because uh, there's, these three lifters are taller and uh, you don't have any lash. So I have to, what I do, I, I, I turn a 30 thousandths off, off of them in the lathe, and then I put them on my valve grinder and dress the ends off them. And, uh, and, uh, so I do all this before I put, put my springs on, and, uh, and after I get my springs on, I'll, I'll go back through and, uh, and check them again. But uh, we're gonna adjust uh, this one and this one, and, and I'll show you how I do it. And, it's a little aggravating after using three uh, wrenches, but uh, that's just the way it is with these with this style of lifter. Well, first thing we're going to do is get one of them to the top and this works good when you're when you're doing it in the car too because uh, you know it's, it's hard to uh, some people will set them both valves at the same time and that's okay too it's just whatever style you like but like when I'm in doing the one in the car uh, I can, uh, it's, it's hard to roll, you know, with all the pistons and everything in. So most of the time I'll jack the rear tire up 
and uh, I'll get someone to to roll the roll the tire wheel with it in high gear till till the valve comes up and and this it's just easier for me that way than than trying to turn it with a with a wrench and I've got the right kind of wrench to turn it on the crankshaft but uh, but it it works better for me that way so we got <clears throat> number three exhaust valve up so we're going to adjust number two And it's it's pretty close, and uh, so uh, you have to have some thin wrenches too. I probably have to adjust this a couple more times. And now we pull. Now we. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little bit loose, so we need a, need a little more. And these these nuts are down in here so far that uh, you can't hardly get a hold of them to pull them up. And I hope the lighting is good. Yep, that's that's got that one. So now I'm gonna roll it around till this one's up. And we're gonna check this one. That's a little bit tight. A little bit more. And this is a booger to do inside when you when it's in in installed in the car, leaning over the fender, and, and uh, it's not a it's not a good thing to have to do. Still needs just a little bit.
Uh, we need a little bit more. This this is a time consuming uh, operation, especially with these three lifters. If I'd have put the valve springs on, then I would have had to have rolled the engine over every time to get get these up. Okay, we're good there. So I hope this gives you an idea of, of how, I, how I do it. And uh, so while, while I'm at it, I'll show you how I check the valves to uh, see if they're sealing. This is a, a vacuum checker, and uh, so, uh, made a pad, you know, put a put a gauge on it. So this one, it should be sealing. So if I hold my finger over it, you can see it goes up to about twenty-one. I hope you can I'll take the camera out and put it around so you can see it. And you can see it's just over 21 feet. So uh, I'll roll it around. So this one's up. And I, I do this when I do the valve job, I'm just showing you how, how you can check them. So you have to pull in two. Probably got two trash under it. Well, picked it up. Okay. There you see. Okay. Now you can So, uh, I hope this gives you an idea. Of, uh, well, I might not have had it all the way down. Yeah. Let me see it right now. So, uh, and you can check the hand takes the same way. And you just gotta have both of them, both of them closed. Roll it around, get both of these down. And they may not be down because I hadn't, hadn't just them. I'm not sure if they got lash in them or not. Yeah, yeah, they're down. So, uh, I hope this gives you a little insight on, on the valve adjustments. So, uh, thanks for watching.